Hi, I'm Carly, and welcome to my sweet digs. Come on in. I live in Madison, New Jersey, in a three-bedroom home with my boyfriend, Mike, and my two dogs, Teddy and Hamilton. We moved in about seven months ago, and I absolutely love living in the suburbs. We have the absolute nicest neighbors and the cutest downtown. Mike and I did go into the home buying experience with a definite budget in mind. We actually bought this place for $820,000. Welcome to our family room. This is where Mike and I spend most of our time just hanging out and relaxing. One of the design features that I definitely wanted to incorporate in this room specifically were bookshelves. Mike and I are avid readers and we have collected a ton of books over the years. So having these two bookcases filled with some of our favorite reads just makes the full room seem that much more warm. But even though we love to read, we also really like to watch TV. And it was important for us to have a TV in this family room, but we didn't really want just like a black box on the wall. So we invested in the Samsung Frame TV, which incorporates a beautiful picture when it's off. And I love how seamlessly it fits into our home decor. The Frame TV was our biggest splurge in this room, but it was 100% worth it because I love the way it looks. But the real hero piece of the room is this white couch that I've had for years. It is the most comfortable couch I've ever sat on. And we have a ton of friends spend the night and even with guest rooms upstairs, this is almost always the preferred bed of choice because it's just that comfortable. This is our dining room, and this is actually the first time in my adult life where I've had an actual dining room where I can put our dining room table. This one actually has leaves so they can fold down and it can take up a little bit of a smaller space, but since we have the room, it's so nice to have the leaves up. We can have all of our friends and family over for dinner parties. Another thing that I was super excited when we came to the open house was seeing these amazing built-in shelves. I was so excited to start collecting and to start filling it up with some of our favorite treasures. Right through this entryway is my favorite room in the house, the kitchen. In our previous apartment, we had the tiniest kitchen. So when we came to the open house and saw this gorgeous open concept kitchen, I was completely sold. We spend so much of our time here with this big island. We're either cooking, eating, doing work, hanging out. In our previous apartment, only one of us could fit at a time, and this feels so spacious and amazing. We love just inviting people over on the weekends, and we can all hang out, feeling like everyone is super welcome here. And one of the best features about this kitchen are the open shelves. It's a little hard because you can't just hide everything behind the cabinet, but I love the way it looks. And because it doesn't have cabinets, and because we don't have a lot of storage, we also realized there was no pantry. And that was gonna be a huge issue for us because we cook so much and like to have a lot of snacks on hand, that's me. So we converted a coat closet right next to the powder room into a pantry with some custom shelving and a little thing on the door to keep things nice and organized. All right, back to the map. This is my office. This is our third bedroom, which I use as a home office. I love having a door that I can close and get into a nice focus mode. This is my desk area, which I just love tying in a lot of pops of blue denim, but because it's also a third bedroom and we wanna be able to utilize it as a guest room, I made sure to include a day bed with a trundle. So we have two extra spaces for people to sleep. I am a blogger and I have a ton of outfit changes and need to know what I'm shooting with my photographer. And my office actually has a really nice deep closet, but it was kind of hard to figure out what to do with it. And then I came up with the perfect idea. A rolling clothing rack. I love that I can have everything set up, put it away when I don't want to see it. And then when I need it, I can just roll it right on out. And here we have our master bedroom. I love our master bedroom. We're so fortunate to have two windows on each wall and it just brings in so much light during the day, which I absolutely love. And we wanted to keep that feeling into the design by keeping it super bright and airy and very neutral. I wanted it to kind of have that hotel vibe. And one thing that I really love about my room and that I'm super proud of is my closet. It's not the biggest closet, but I have really maximized all the space and try to make sure that I could fit as many clothes as possible by bringing in this piece. I've got a shoe rack that I've had since I lived in New York City about 10 years ago, and then some of my favorite handbags up top. Our master bathroom is on the small side, but we make it work, and Mike and I haven't killed each other yet, which I feel like is a great sign for a relationship. 
This is our guest room and it's by far our biggest design challenge. When we moved in, this was at the bottom of the list of things to do and it's just a hodgepodge of furniture from old apartments, but I'd love to make some updates. Maybe new bedding, lamps, or a mirror or two will help tie together the whole space. Are you ready to see what I chose? The mirror and the lamps go so well together. I love the simplicity and sleekness of these items, but I decided to add a few more accents I had around the house to round out the look. This setup costs $168.99. Thanks for checking out my sweet digs. Now I've got to go walk my dogs. Bye.